forever since I made a video. We just finished moving across the country again, but this time we will be settled for at least two years. So that's really exciting for me. Um, for those of you who are just visiting my channel for the first time, I'm Sammy and I am an illustrator. Um, but for the past few years from my husband's job, he's a wildlife biologist. We've been moving around, um, but now we are in West Virginia and we'll be here for a while. So I'm really excited. Um, you're in my new studio. It's not finished, but I will share more of that with you later. So yeah, I just wanted to catch up and show you what I've been up to. Um, when we left Washington State, we did drive down to Bandon, Oregon, which is our favorite town um, on the West Coast. And it was just awesome to get to go back there. We used to live near there and we didn't know if we'd really have the opportunity to make it back there. But since we were leaving the West Coast, we're like, we're gonna drive down and go see it. So. Um, I'm going to share some footage of that with you um, because it's just so gorgeous. And um, yeah, I also have been having a lot of fun getting our new house ready. Um, we're renting, but we've been able to make some changes and I did some kind of renter friendly things in the kitchen that I am kind of excited to show you guys. I know this isn't like a decorating channel, but it's creative, so I hope you'll enjoy. Um, yeah, so, but before I show you that, let me go ahead and share the footage from the Oregon coast with you. So another exciting thing that I'm waiting on today is that a sweatshirt from my new fall collection is coming to me today. So I'm really excited to have like a physical one in my hands. I can try it on, I can show it to you guys. Um, but while we wait for that, I'll go ahead and show you how my studio is looking right now. Um, and some of the things I've done, I'm just really, my main struggle is figuring out the bookshelves. I just have like a lot of little knickknacks um, and also hanging art, but, um, yeah, I'll show you around so far. Okay. So this is my studio. I'm so excited. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know that for like the last six, 
nine months ish i was just working at a table next to the refrigerator <laughs> so it's really nice to have a whole studio to myself again um yeah so here's i have like my fiction books color arranged this is rat from fantastic mr fox um and then i have a few more things oh my gosh guys i have to show you this um this is a toulouse lautrec sketch so i found out that um you can get free artwork through the like national archive of art um famous you know pieces or sketches by famous painters and you can download it and print it for yourself and it's completely legal as far as i can tell um but i'll i'll link that below so you guys can see that um yeah so don't really know about this shelf yet but here's all my things and Here's my desk. This drafting table um, belongs to my grandpa. He was an architect. Um, so that's really cool. There's actually still some of like the lines from making floor plans on it. Um, more art that I was able to print. I just really like these scenes, um, outdoors and the ocean. We've lived by the ocean for a long time, but we don't anymore. So like having that here. Um, yeah let's see i've got some artwork um this artist graham i will link his instagram below um i also i need to fix this art in the frame but um i have this artwork by julia her last name starts with a b and she's spanish i can't remember her name but i'm gonna link her below i love this this is a limited edition print it slid around in here so i need to fix that but Anyway, yeah, and then waiting to go up. This is a portrait I did of my bunny pocket who um, passed away a few years ago, but she was kind of my inspiration for starting my career with animal illustrations. So it's a portrait I did of her. These mouse prints are like my favorite thing. They're by Chris Dunn and they're gonna go up somewhere. And then this piece is by Emily Wingfield Martin. Winfield Martin? Wingfield? Um, anyway, I will link her below as well. And I'm really excited because I got this for my birthday, but I've been waiting to use it. Um, it's not on because we have no air conditioning and it's hot out, but the light, I can just have the light on. So it looks like a cozy little fireplace. It's electric and it does do heat when I want it to. A cozy little tapestry that we'll see how long that holds because the top of the ceiling is pretty soft. Um, I have some storage in here and it's kind of messy but my printer and scanner, more storage. This is um, sea otter artwork by Tegan White and in here is just more storage so it's really nice to have that many places to put things. Um, I chose these curtains. I was going to get some from Ikea. I think they were called like Michaela or something, but they were out of stock. So these are Shabby Chic brand from Target. Very pretty and light and airy. And I got um, curtain rods that just look kind of like wood. And out my window is a nice little rooftop view it is so lush and green here just rolling hills of trees forever so anyway oh okay you saw what people just fell <laughs> i can't nail into this wall because it's like has rubber stuff on it to protect from moisture <sighs> well okay gotta figure that out the sweater just came so excited. Okay. Here we go. Oh, I like this. They eliminated the inner plastic bag. Okay. I got the red one. Oh, it looks awesome. Oh, that's so fun. 
and I'm gonna take off this little like size sticker thing so you can see it. <clears throat> wow. Here it is. It looks so good. Wow. Awesome. Okay, this is so soft. I don't know if you can see. Really, really soft. This is um, a Bella and Canvas brand sweatshirt, which is the like most eco-friendly option you can get for direct-to-garment printing right now. And this sweatshirt design comes in gray, black, and red. And I also have the same style, but with a different artwork on it. Um, in my shop, it has the river otter on it. So anyway, I am going to try this on. This is the cropped one. Um, but yeah, let me try it on and I'll show you guys how it looks. Here's the print. The colors are like exactly what I wanted them to be. It looks great. Okay guys, here it is. I love how it fits. It's really crazy. So this is the cropped one. And I also offer it in like a classic crew neck long um, sweatshirt if you don't like cropped. But anyway, yeah, I'm really happy with it. So, so you can get this in my shop in a gray, black, or this red color. And I will put the link below to my fall collection and specifically to this sweatshirt if you want to check it out. So I'm now doing some little photographs of the sweatshirt as well as the Baking Bunnies mug which is um, came out last winter and I figured it would be appropriate for this time of year as well with fall coming up. So yeah, I've got a few blankets, got a few props to set the tune. Okay guys, it is now a Saturday and I'm going to show you the kitchen and I will tell you all about my ideas for it and how it came to be. I'm really excited. This is my first time I've gotten to like do something to a place that I've lived. Um, so yeah, I really hope that you guys like it and I hope that some of the tips are inspiring to you and you can make use of them in your house or your rental space. So anyway, I will go ahead and get to that. Okay, so this is a picture of the kitchen from before we moved in. This was actually on the listing and it's a really poor quality photo, but you can at least see what it looked like before. It was pretty basic and um, a little depressing. So I had some ideas of how I would change it up and just make it feel better for us. So one of the first things um, that I found on Pinterest was that I really liked uh, these dark green cabinets. And obviously I can't paint the cabinets because it is a rental, but I thought about painting a kitchen island, which you will see later. Also another kind of recurring thing that I found in kitchens I liked was the subway tiles. Um, these go all the way up the wall, but I had seen um, on Alexandra Gator's channel before that she used the stick-on tiles in her kitchen. And I thought they were awesome. And so you can peel them off and remove them. Um, you have to like follow the instructions and everything, but they are renter friendly. So I got those and I'm really happy with how they turn out. Lastly, um, the other thing that I was interested in for this kitchen was kind of displaying some of my copper pots. I have a set that is like copper on the outside and anyway, they're just really pretty and I wanted to be able to hang them somehow. So I wanted to come up with a solution for that as well as I wanted to get a mirror, kind of like this fancy one. Um, we had one that we thought was in storage I was going to use and we haven't found it yet. So you'll have to stay tuned for that. But anyway, I combined all of these images as well as incorporating a little blue and white piece, which I'll talk about later. Um, yeah, just to kind of give me my inspiration and I try to stick to it really closely with all of the choices that I made. So the first thing that we did was we came up a few weeks before actually moving into our house. The landlord said that we could come in and um, move a few things in if we wanted to. So 
Um, I came up with my family and my sister and my mom helped me paint this island green, like the cabinet style I like so much. And we put in the new rug, but you can see that it still doesn't look so great. Um, this wall color is tan, but for whatever reason in the kitchen it comes across as kind of green. But the wall, um, but the backsplash helped a lot with that. So I will go ahead and show you how the tile installation went. Okay guys, so I just want to show you how this is coming. Um, this is the peel and stick tile and it's really pretty awesome. It's a struggle in some areas to do it, but anyway, this is how it's coming. Um, my mother-in-law helped me yesterday. It took a really long time, but I'm going to finish this strip myself. Okay guys, we are now in the kitchen. Are you ready to see it? So I wanted this kitchen to feel really cozy and classic with a little bit of naturiness. Um, so let me show you some of the things that I did to make this kitchen my own. Okay, so the thing that I think made the absolute biggest difference was this tile. And you guys saw me in the midst of installing it. Um, this is just kind of a plasticky material and they come on these sticker sheets and I don't know if you can tell, but it's like dimensional, which really gives the effect of real tile. So that made like the biggest difference. The other thing is that initially this board that was here was the same color as the cabinets, um, but I decided to paint it white. And first I started with a pink color of white that we have, um, that we like had on hand, but it was so wrong. So I took one of these tiles to Lowe's and I actually color matched it to a paint and it ended up being something called like icicle I think. So it's really more of like a gray, but all together it just comes across as a nice fresh white. And this board actually ended up being great. Um, they had some tiny little hooks in here for like coffee cups, but I really wanted to be able to hang my copper pots. Um, if you guys have been following me, you know that we've been moving around a lot and I haven't had my copper pots in a while. Um, well, they're copper on the outside and like aluminum on the inside. But anyway, yes. So we just got these kind of heavy duty um, rubberized hooks from the hardware store and hung those and they're holding up amazingly. And these are not lightweight pots. So that is another thing. Um, you saw my inspiration photo with the copper pots and there was also a mirror. I am planning on putting a mirror here, um, but just haven't gotten that yet. So yeah, and then the other thing was that the switch plates um, were ivory, which didn't look very good against the white tile. And I'm kind of like mixing metals in here, my lamp, has gold on it. These are coppery, but they're, they have like a patina. So anyway, there's a few different tones to work with. And because the cabinets are this warm wood color, I decided to go with gold. And I also just got these at Lowe's. So just switch those out. Obviously, you know, it's not like as nice as a whole gold thing, but I think it really helps the look a lot. And did that throughout the rest of the kitchen. I have a lot of blue and white china that my grandmother gave me. Um, some of it is on display in that cabinet that I showed you, um, but that was kind of my inspiration for adding some accents like that into this room. And I was looking for a lamp that was like the blue and white china, and I couldn't find one that I could afford. And finally, I randomly just typed in mini lamp 
on Walmart because I had given up on finding one that was, um, you know, what I wanted. And this came up and not only is it like blue and white ceramic, but it's an owl and I love it so much. And I actually like copied and pasted the whole name and you can buy it through Target um, and a few other places, but it was like almost half the price through Walmart, but it was the same exact lamp. I love having my lamp in here. It adds so much coziness. I actually got that tip um, from Mary Elizabeth's channel. You should definitely go check her out. I love her style. But um, anyway, yeah, it's really nice, especially, it's really nice especially when the light is off in here, um, cooking in the evenings. It's just really, really cozy. And I love it. So this table and chairs I'm really excited about because this table is from Ikea and you can still get it there but um, it was kind of at the more than I wanted to spend at Ikea and I found it on Craigslist um, for less than half the price of the one at Ikea and it's in great shape so we got that. And then these chairs are from like a discount overstock furniture place. Um, in Cincinnati where our family lives and it was two for 40 but um anyway super happy with the style of these chairs and the table and then we have little plants and my various woodland creatures up on the shelves and the shelves are already here so the other thing that we did, um, this ceiling is really an eyesore, but to be honest, I hardly ever notice it when I'm sitting in here. Um, it does have just overhead lighting. We have bought this Ikea lampshade with the lighting and everything to go in the living room, but it didn't work with our historical wiring. So my sister had the idea to just use the shade from it and suspend it from the grid work. And it just kind of creates a little central point for the kitchen and I really love it just adds a little bit of texture and depth thank you so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed my channel um, thanks for coming back I know I've been gone for a while but I should be a little bit more consistent now um, yeah and remember that you can shop all of my new items via the link below for my shop i'm also on patreon if you'd like to get this month's print let me show you what it is this month's print is professor thistle and i just love him i think he's perfect for back to school time so you can get your very own limited edition print for just ten dollars when you join my patreon on the parliament of owls here and you can now also if you are in Europe UK or the US you can subscribe in your own currency and what that that does is it just saves you a little bit of money that patreon might add on for transferring the currency so anyway that's really nice so please go check it out your support means so so much also if you're interested in learning how I draw animal characters like this um, I have a class on Skillshare all about that, and I will link that below as well. And if you use that link, it's two months free of Skillshare. And yeah, class is totally free to you. So anyway, thanks for watching. Um, I will be back soon with more art and shop stuff and maybe some more home stuff. All right, see you guys next time.